so this may be controversial, but um, I think it's an epiphany worth sharing. It may not be that big to some people. It, it may be, but um, it has to do with the Isaiah 11, 6, which, as I said before, um, I remember simply just saying, uh, the lion shall lay down with the lamb, or something of a variation of that. Maybe just, it, it was either shell or will. It wasn't really anything more than that. Um, now, I wasn't really well read into the Bible at all. Even some of the more popular ones, I just kind of, you know, took it from word to mouth and took uh, people's word for it. You know, just heard common phrases, you know, uh, the Lord giveth and taketh away, which has kind of changed now. People have been talking about and, and stuff like that. Um, these are all, th all I've, I've experienced what most people have experienced, or really all the things that most people talk about, uh, except for, you know, more not obscure but less talked about verses and stuff like the uh, EYA channel talks about um, that she experiences you know but um, I just want to point out something about this now the big controversy about the line changing to the wolf is that number one people associate the line with the tribe of Judah and Jesus but you're not thinking clearly enough, I don't think. And I don't mean to insult anybody that's thought about this a lot. I've thought about this a lot, but this just came to me. You know, it's just been years, it's been haunting me, honestly. Um, but unfortunately, let, let me put it this way. It's like, we have to be careful with how we present ourselves in videos and stuff on these topics. And you may say, oh, well, you're the one to talk. You know, you get really wild sometimes. And I don't feel I'm wild. I feel like that's very appropriate the way I convey things at, at, the, at that time and, and what I'm talking about. So um, I wouldn't put it out there. I wasn't comfortable with it, or I didn't feel like it was an imminent thing. Um, admittedly, the, the warn people about this now video I made that was not hyperbolic or anything. I, I just felt this imminence. I just was like, I have to get this out here as soon as possible. And like you know, when I was making it. Uh, like my internet went off in a weird way and stuff. I, I can't I can't remember exactly, but just so many weird things were happening, and I knew it was just a big deal. And uh, I know I kind of messed up the audio at the end. I didn't even notice that until I replayed it myself, and it was already uploaded. Sorry for the loud music at the end and stuff. Uh, it really was about the visual. I'm not trying to force music on people, but maybe that shock value will help you remember it. I used to have a teacher uh, that uh, would do. She would say like little random things every now and then and she said that I don't know where she learned some kind of psychology class or on the internet she said that uh, that will help us remember certain things we, we to just uh, just a little outside of the box thing because to, to break the, mon the, the monotony and the mundaneness of the, of the lesson of that day and for me it didn't because I didn't really care about it at all sorry to say but I just I just didn't really care about that class but anyway um I don't mean to insult anybody, and um, what I was about to say about being not hyperbolic, but you know, eccentric and emotional in, in videos, we, we all have to be careful, even myself, because that can have a profound, long-lasting effect on someone. They could kind of internalize that and run with it for a long time and maybe all their lives. Um, and I'm very considerate of when I let that emotional outbreak happen with me um, it's it's not it's not it's not even something I can be considered of in the, it's it's a raw feeling I do this live I don't rehearse anything that I, I do I don't I maybe stumble a few times in like the intro and I have to remake it but other than that it's it's all raw it don't it's it's not rehearsed um, but let's cut to the chase here People were really freaked out about this this wolf thing, and they still are. And there's nothing wrong with that. It really isn't. You know, that's any of these changes are profound. It uh, just breaks down everything um, because you have something that can just literally edit reality. Um, so I, I'm just going to. 
hate to go back into just a little bit of a rant, but, you know, my friend, as I'll call you now, you said something about creating a device to change things. Well, <laughs> whether it's CERN or <laughs> whatever, they've already done that. There's already a device or entity changing things, and they could change that thing that you want to change things. <laughs> so you get what I'm saying. So it's uh, you're not living in that old world, and you have to really get beyond what you're thinking. It's we have to get beyond practical. It's really a realm of belief. Okay. And don't be surprised if the channel name changes to that very soon. So. In this realm of belief, I've noticed that the wolf, for, 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 instance, for starters, the wolf is mentioned even in Genesis. Another controversial element is that the wolf isn't commonly associated, I don't think, with Middle East and stuff, as you think of the Bible. Um, and the wolves mentioned about, I'm, I'm going to just fact check here, one, two, three, four, five times. As of right now. It could change. Um, but starting from Genesis, that's, no, no one talk, I've never seen anyone talk about this, really. I'm, I'm sure they have. I don't, I don't really get into Mandela Effect videos that much anymore, but I used to a lot. So there might be like, you know, I watch some Stavely stuff and, and learn some things, but uh, it's, it's only because I'm not really looking that much. Let me get off a rant about that. Let's cut to the chase, okay? But it, it's sometimes important that I do go around in some circles because it just, it brings things full circle. Um, so you're concerned about it not saying lying anymore. Why? Did you read the verse and the context? I mean, he's talking about... Uh, just a utopia being attained and stuff and these predatory animals becoming gentle creatures and he even mentions a cockatrice or however you say it, you know this uh, hybrid between a chicken and a dragon pretty much um, says even you know a child can mess with its den and, and you know and, a, and it looks like it says a baby can uh, step on a, a snake's a snake hole or whatever you know and, and it won't bother them you know just all kinds of things and, uh, it, it, you know in Isaiah it, it goes up to a few chapters talking into the you know talking about this stuff it's not just Isaiah 11 but let's just stick to Isaiah 11 here um, so another another person I won't mention and probably a few others have said well we're concerned about it saying the wolf shall dwell with a, dwell with the lamb sounds like it's something sinister sounds like it's kind of roaming around it and I understand how you look at it in a dispensational way because it does seem like we're in uh, we're, we're being surrounded by wolves I, I get that so that's something I'm not going to argue if you want to look at it in a dispensational way I kind of agree yeah. it does seem like we're I don't really I'm not going to consider myself a helpless lamb or among. I'm not going to make an analogy of myself with any animal right now. If God considers me a lamb, then uh, I accept that. That's all I'm going to say. But um, it's, that does definitely seem to be the case. Uh, I, I want to recommend a channel if no one knows this, called Woke Preacher Clips. Most people have heard about TikTok, but this is kind of a small channel on YouTube, and I guess he's on Twitter and other places possibly. But I mean, he really exposes wolves dwelling with lambs and churches and stuff. It's 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 pretty crazy. Just imagine a. Uh, uh, it's just woke preachers. It, that's it, just look just look that up. Okay. Anyway, um. So, I see the controversy in, in some elements, but here's the thing I don't get, and what just came to me. So. You. The image in your mind is Jesus as a lion laying with a lamb. Okay, so if the idea is him achieving a utopia and that lion 
comes to lay down with the lamb, what was he doing before that? The idea is that you're coming out of a dog-eat-dog, -dog, you know, predatory system into a realm of just pure bliss and utopia. Why would you want to associate that with Jesus? Is that's 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 the thing, and I'm not saying Jesus isn't the line of the tribe of Judah or anything like that. It's, there's still there's still that still talks about Judah and the line and everything. But the thing about the line is is that it's mentioned in different in many different contexts and metaphors and stuff. Even Satan is referred to as a roaring lion. Um, so I don't I don't think I'm going to keep you know going on with this video. I, I just I just want to put that out there like. I know that might not seem big to people, but I think it would it kind of, if, if you if you look at these Mandela effects, and I don't disagree with them, don't think I'm, I'm about to start making different kinds of videos, no, no, I definitely not, um, and there, there definitely is some strange elements to them, but it seems like as I look at the actual um, context and read the full chapter, things actually make sense, like there might be some bad grammar and, and, and stuff compared to how it used to be um, and th there's a lot I have to say about that too I've had a different experience with that the only one the only ones I would have to no I'm not gonna that's that'd be another video though that's 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 a lot to say so uh, forgive me um, yeah I just I just want to leave you with that it's like Jesus wouldn't be eventually lying down with the lamb He's already protecting the lamb in that context. Yeah, if, if that's just your visual of, of things, I, I get that because that's just kind of how we've been. Uh, that's that's been a tradition of, of of a visual. I understand that, but this this comes from a tradition of people that just it didn't seem like they really got into the Bible that deep enough, and they just kind of. Uh, Or, or they just got stuck on things a little too much and, and, and they just never went out of that one dimension.